Hey, what's going on guys? Christian Goes Fast here, and today I'm going to be changing the fuel tap on this snowblower. I picked this up as a project from a neighbor just to kind of fix up and sell when it became winter time, and now it's winter time, so I'm going to fix and sell it. Anyway, I'm not really sure what this video is going to be. It might be its own upload if it's long enough. It might just be a small video I throw into uh, another day. But either way, it's going to be a video, so, you know, if you guys are interested in that, check it out. So the first thing we're going to do, I've already disconnected from the old one and connected the main line to the, to the new one that runs from the gas tank. So what we're going to want to do is we need to drain the fuel out of the tank so I can put these new hose clamps on. Can't really see. There. I'm going to put those new hose clamps on this so we don't have any leaks or any issues with the new line. So, I will be back as soon as I have that done. Right. Now, I've got... Let's see if it'll focus. I've got the old fuel, fuel shutoff switch out. I have the new one in with the new hose clamp on it. Can't really see that. But, it's on there. And to remove and replace fuel clamps, or any kind of small hose clamp, you just need a pair of needle nose pliers. Really any pliers will work, but I just use needle nose because they're simple and easy. I've also got the gas drained. Now there wasn't much in it, but it's better to have it drained into a container than drained all over your floor. I did spill a little bit though, so anyway, I'm gonna get this other new hose clamp on the other line. I'm gonna reattach it, make sure it all works, make sure it doesn't leak, put the fuel, well, I'll put the fuel back in to make sure it doesn't leak. But, as soon as I have that done, then hopefully this thing should fire up. See you guys in a minute. Guys, I got this all fixed up. It works, doesn't leak or anything. And, gas tank is filled so with that being said all we have left to do is start it up I realize I keep saying that I'll see you guys in a minute or I'll see you in a little bit well it is a couple minutes for me but for you guys it's really just you know second anyway <clears throat> I'm gonna see if I can start it up all right so this is going to be the final video in this little project so after I got all plugged in got it all fixed up I went to start and it'll start for a bit but after that it shortly dies out <clears throat> which means that the carburetor needs to be cleaned and I don't have time to do that all today but I started on the soaking process so I let some put some carb clean in there. I'm going to let it soak in. Then in a little bit, come back, spray it all out. And if that fixes it, then it will start. If not, I'll have to pull it apart and clean it all out again. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps out. If you guys have any ideas for videos or anything you want me to do or see, then... Uh, leave a comment or message me and that would help out a lot. Thank you so much for watching again and have a great day.